But okay. Next part. Temporary emergency authority to shut down the border. I need a third hand. This is going to be fun. At least it's short. When the system is overwhelmed, the president should have emergency authority to expel migrants who are crossing unlawfully and stop processing asylum claims, except for those using a safe and orderly process at ports of entry. The authority should be like accompanied by humanitarian exceptions for vulnerable populations, including unaccompanied children and the victims of trafficking. Honestly, I think that the um, humanitarian exceptions should be everyone, if you ask me. Hey, because this is also President Biden that like he used the Title Nine uh excuse no Title Four Two to try to to the xenophobic like policy of like oh no no the, the these like uh, people coming in that might have COVID we're closing the borders. That's what Trump did, and Biden continued those policies. Continue on, Congress should like also dedicate the resources to detain and remove individuals quickly. Yeah, they want more cops. Uh, and rapidly process those who cannot be detained into non-custodial settings under government sur uh, supervision. I mean, Big Brother. They want Big Brother as well, too. Continue on. And those who pose a threat to public safety or national security must be identified and removed quickly as possible. I, I, I doubt their ability to do that, honestly. But moving on to the next section. Uh, fighting human trafficking. Fun. Um... No, let me no. Well, let me first uh, offer this as like fighting human trafficking. Make it super easy for like if people to come through the border. The reason why this human trafficking is because of like um, is because uh, you are kicking people out or preventing people from coming in. Uh, Haps has like said, um, with Russia you can Harps uh, said with Russia you can Harps kid. Okay, I finally figured out how to pronounce your screen name. Um, but Harp says, says with like Russia and Ukraine is very much a inter uh, imperial conflict where uh, Ukraine represents the threat of NATO aggression and Russia has its own division of debate. A ceasefire is needed either right. I actually do agree with you on that too. Of the Russia Ukraine thing, I honestly do agree with like a form of ceasefire of some kind as well too. And I do agree actually with the how Ukraine represents a NATO uh, aggression. Absolutely. Because, like, a NATO expanded, like, in the years since it was, like, started as well, too. So, there is something to what, like, uh, Putin says about, like, uh, how, like, the Western imperialism was, like, coming to, like, the doorsteps of, like, uh, uh, to Dara's doorsteps. And, but, like, it's, it's, I still, like, I, I'm against the aggression of, like, them of, like, invading Ukraine as well, too. Hmm. I mean, I also, yeah, I, I do agree with that, with that as well, uh, Zal, uh, that like, yeah, well, Russia, I don't know if Russia wants you to genocide Ukrainian people, or maybe in the way they do, because like, they want like, um, uh, by the way, uh, I was also mentioned this as well. I'm not, sh I'm not sure I will get to this today, but there's a section about like Ukraine and later on in another chapter of this like document about foreign policy. Um, so maybe I'll kind of like, I save uh, that topic for like later, but like, there might be some truth to that and uh, as well too. I, I mean, I guess like, hey, but then again, there's also like Nazis here in like United States of America. Uh, but anyway, I, I, I honestly, there's times I'm not sure. Oh, uh, but I'll continue on with uh, this part of like uh, fighting like human trafficking. Um, and again, just like fully legalize it so that the human trafficking won't be a problem. Anyway, continue on. We need more resources and congressional authorization to increase penalties to prosecute and punish like human smugglers and traffickers who prey upon like families and migrants. President Biden has already uh, taken numerous steps to like go after those bad actors, including by revolting revoking the visas of private sector CEOs and sanctioning government officials who profit from like uh, migrants uh, coming to the United States it's unlawfully, and expanding efforts to like dismantle like human smuggling and prosecuting offenders. I mean, there's so many CEOs that like uh, benefit from like uh, un uh, from uh, undocumented like uh, and really cheap wage labor as well too. So there's a lot of CEOs that need to like uh, do.
Oh yeah, there's also the thing that's happened in Crimea as well too. But no, also I think there was a bunch of like Ukrainian children that like have been kidnapped and captured by Russian soldiers and like brought over to like Russia to be raised as Russian too, if I remember hearing correctly. I think it actually from my friend who's in Russia himself has like said that it's happening too. And so yeah. Yeah, which which is also why um it's I uh, again I not I, a, a person is not their government as well too so I don't have a problem with Russian people as well too because the government of Russia that I have my issues with. Um, continuing on, uh, President Biden also established like a joint a task force uh, Alpha, a law enforcement like task force that like marshals the investigated and prosecutional resources of the Department of Justice in partnership with the Department of Homeland Security to enhance U.S. enforcement efforts across the more the most prolific and dangerous human smugglers and trafficking groups operating in Mexico and the Northern Triangle uh, countries of Guatemala, El Salvador, and Honduras. Joint task forces Alpha has delivered significant results, including over 240 U.S. Con uh, convictions against leaders, organizers, and significant facilitators of, like, human traffickers and substantial seizures of, like, forfeitures of assets, including cash, property, and, um, firearms. I do agree that, like, a Ukraine joining a NATO poses a threat to Russia as well, too. Um... I mean, it's a piston contest, but there's always been a piston contest between a Western imperialist and then, like, a Russian imperialist, and I just got some periods across the board, but, like, Ukraine was invaded. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. The, uh, it, I mean, the indigenous people in Canada and the U.S. were, like, definitely genocide as long, too. Yeah, no argument there. Because uh, the because the schools were like indigenous people, kids were again. I said this before. Joined the indigenous heretic, a friend of mine who's Lakota. They're also uh, not by any but like they remember they were growing up um, of missionaries. Um, um. Yeah, yeah. Well, okay, we can at least agree on that. Yeah, definitely. Russia is definitely has because like the uh, uh, the Russian government wants to like ha absorb Ukraine and make that be part of Russia again, which is like yeah. Um, but like no, the the, 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 the indigenous like genocide. Joey the indigenous heritage I remember growing up in the Dakota Reservation of like vans from Christians, white vans that would drive around and like possibly picking up the indigenous kids and taking them away. That's what seriously happened. And I was like, we were really concerned. And that's genocide right there, trying to like steal indigenous kids away and cause them not to be indigenous anymore by Christianizing them as well, too. Um, in Australia as well, too. What was called? Um, I mean, I, I mean, I'm against all states as well too. So it's like not just like Russia as well too, and all imperialism as well too. But anyway, um, but like uh, it's, uh, yeah, the operationals in like Australia also have like similar genocides happening. You know, I think the Black Wars was called, or oh, the missing generation, the the stolen generation. Yeah, no, 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 and that was happening in the '70s, so within our lifetime too. But anyway, um. Uh, back to the United States of America and the Democratic Party platform on securing our borders, cracking down on trafficking in illicit fentanyl. Oh, yeah, I'm uh, against states, honestly, in general, too. I I have my criticism the United States of America as well, too. I mean, you're going to hear it as I talk about the Democratic Party platform. Get to it. Uh, President Biden has been like fighting the trafficking of fentanyl as a top priority. He has seized record amounts of fentanyl on that border and arrested more individuals for fentanyl-related crimes in the last two years than in the previous five years combined and secured funding for like more cutting-edge and inspection machines to like help detect fentanyl out of our southwest border. Uh, he also issued an executive order to go after the global illicit uh, fentanyl trade, uh, which led to the imprisonment in the imposition of sanctions on some 300 individuals and entities. Um, President Biden has also continued uh, working with Mexico to eradicate the prosecution of uh, key fentanyl traffickers and negotiate the re resumption the resumption of bilateral cooperation on counter narcotics with China, uh, which has been like st stalled since like 2019. As a result of these efforts, the number of fentanyl related deaths have like started to decline the first time in five years. 
six times or something like that. In his second term, it's not President Biden. It's going to be President Harris. President Harris will work with like uh, Congress to, do, in, to deploy more cutting edge like inspection machines to help detect fentanyl at our ports of entries. She will uh, also leverage all resources of the federal government to stop like uh, tech platforms from being used for criminal conduct, including sales of dangerous drugs like fentanyl. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, so like uh, Zal, uh, sometimes I I have that same problem too, where sometimes I'm not seeing YouTube messages. So it's all, I happen to have like a uh, I like a a. a browser tab open to my stream as well too so i can see what my chat women chit said or well, i also have obs as well too so i can also see what my chat widget says like that and sometimes the messages i don't see does get caught uh by the chat widget from restream as well too so that's when i switch from top chat to live chat or back and forth to like see the messages that i miss Yes, and so yeah, sometimes I have to do that, and sometimes I have to like switch back from like live from top chat to live chat, and in order to see all the messages because like that's also I can like catch like and this happened like a, a another time. There was a guy who has the username of Gary Coleman that basically just wanted to, like say the N word because he thinks it's cool, I guessing, or it's just a bigot, and like question like how I sound and like that. Yep, I, I do get that from like you harps. It, because I also heard if, if the harps, yeah, it harps the, the kind of thing that you were talking about. I've heard from like other people as well too. Uh, so you're not the only one I heard that from, and that's why it's just kind of like I, I, I don't know where to sit on like the Ukraine thing as well too. I guess if one thing I just want to like make clear I'm against all imperialists and imperialist aggression as well too, regardless of who's by NATO, U.S., uh, the West, the the West or like Russia, sir. Outro video time. Yes, this time I'm actually making an outro video instead of just having text on here. So if you like the video, press the button to give it a like. Helps out the video as well too. And if you dislike the video, that button is there too as well. Oh, doesn't matter. Helps the algorithm and helps the video out of the way. Uh, you can also leave a comment if you disagree with something that I said or you just want to say, hey, I like this video or something like that. That will help out the video as well too. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already as well too. Um, this, yep, getting those subs and numbers up always helps as well too. And uh, also don't forget to share around the video to like all your friends, uh, all your enemies on the social medias and be like, hey, check this out or listen to this or will you check out this person that's like rambling about so many different things yeah that will help the video as well too and also over on the sides of my face right now or covering face as well too should be like the buttons for like over you know, over here for like to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and also social justice out me if you haven't checked out that like uh you a channel it's a weekly uh live stream show the youtube live stream show that I, I i'm sitting around with a bunch of my friends a bunch of other anarchists and leftists and socialists to talk about like current events news uh politics feminism anarchism socialism communism and various other things even cats even like pop culture as well too and over on like the of here should be uh some videos as well too for like that i recommend you check out as well or it's over here i don't know it around my face there's should be those buttons that you can click on as well too all right thank you for watching